Good morning, friends. So our story this week is called How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World. And so in this story, we're going to get to travel to different places around the world and see how we can make um, an apple pie by gathering ingredients from those places. And this book is very exciting because this week we're going to be talking about apples. And next week, we're actually going to start a unit where we talk about our continents and the oceans and travel around the world. So this book was written by Marjorie Priceman. And just from looking at the cover, you can tell that this book, we're probably going to see a lot of what? Traveling. You can see her moving and traveling. All right. So in this book, we're going to talk about how settings can change. We learn that the setting is where the story takes place, but it doesn't always have to stay in one place. You might be reading a book where somebody's out of school, but then they go home and the setting totally changes. So we're going to talk about how the place can change because a character character can travel to different places. Time can change. The characters can get older or it can get later in the day and the environment, the weather or the season can change. So there's many ways that a setting can change. And this book changes settings a lot. So what your job is going to do going to be during the book is you're going to be watching to see the different places that we visit and see how the setting changes. Do they look the same? Are they doing the same things there? What are the ways that they're different? And then afterwards, you're going to go into Seesaw and you're going to kind of explain some of those changes. So maybe in one place you see that there are a lot of fields with like tall grass, but then somewhere else there might be a jungle. So you're going to think about those differences. All right, so these are some of the vocabulary words that we want to make sure that you understand while we read the book so that you, you can understand the book. So our first word is orchard. And an orchard is just a piece of land where trees are planted like fruit or nut trees. So this is a picture of an apple orchard. So people a lot of times go to apple orchards to pick apples, especially in the fall. Ingredients. Ingredients are any foods that are put together to make a dish. So you can see these are the ingredients for actually an apple pie, but you have things like butter, flour, egg, sugar. Um, some people put nuts, those are walnuts in it harvest to gather of crops the gathering of crops so right here you can see that this this person's using a huge tractor to try to harvest wheat in this book we're going to be talking about a lot of harvesting um apples and churn churn means to beat to stir or shake milk or cream to make butter so this is an old butter churn right here and they used to have to keep beating and stirring it until they could actually make butter and then our last word is spoil. And spoil means to go rotten or to run. And so you can look right over here, and this apple has a spoiled spot. All right, this is a map of our world. And so she's going to be showing us some different places that we're going to visit. If we look right over here, this is the continent of North America, which we live on. We live on the in the United States on the continent of North America. And then we have South America. Over here we have Europe. We have Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica at the bottom where you can barely see. But we're going to learn more about that next week. Oh, and here's our title page. How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World by Marjorie Price. Making an apple pie is easy unless, of course, the market is closed. So if the market's closed, that's kind of like our store. We have nowhere to get our ingredients. So let's see what we're going to have to do. In that case, go home and pack a suitcase. Take your shopping list and some walking shoes. Then catch a steamship bound for Europe. Use the six days on board to brush up on your Italian. So it looks like we're going to be heading to Europe to Italy. Oh, look at this setting. You can see that we have lots of fields of tall wheat. It says, if you time it just right, you'll arrive in Italy at harvest time. Find a farm deep in the countryside. Gather some superb Similian wheat. An armful or two will do. So you can see them gathering the wheat right there. All right, so we were in the countryside in Italy, and look what happened. Now we're trying to hop on a train to France and locate a chicken. Why do you think we need a chicken to bake a pie? Let's see if you're correct. 
French hens lay elegant eggs. If you guessed it's for the eggs, you are correct. And you want only the finest ingredients for your pie. Coax the chicken to give you an egg. Better yet, bring the chicken with you. There's less chance of breaking the egg that way. So as you can tell, our, um, our setting changed a lot. We were out in the countryside in Italy where we saw fields. Over here, you can see that we're right in the town or in the city by different, like this is a little restaurant right here to gather our chicken. And then we're gonna choose to get to Sri Lanka any way you can. So we choose to go by boat. Oh, look at Sir, Sri Lanka. We're in the middle of the jungle now. We have different animals here. We have the, no buildings, so we're out in the middle of the jungle. Says you can't miss it. Sri Lanka is a pear-shaped island in the Indian Ocean. The best cinnamon in the world is made there. From the bark of a native kurundu tree. So go directly to the rainforest, find a kurundu tree, and peel off the bark. If a leopard is napping underneath a tree, make sure to be quiet. Oh, so it looks like we're not in the jungle anymore. Hitch a ride to England. Make the acquaintance of a cow. You'll know she's an English cow from her good manners and charming accent. Ask if you can borrow a cup or two of milk. Even better, bring the whole cow with you for the freshest possible results. So you can see that Sh Sri Lanka and England look very different. We were just in the middle of the jungle but here we've got nice green fields and flowers and just little country houses. And look, we even have dirt roads. And if you look very careful, you can see even some old castles. Stow away on a banana boat headed home to Jamaica. On your way there, you can pick up some salt. Fill a jar with salty seawater. When the boat docks in Jamaica, walk to the nearest sugar plantation. Introduce yourself to everyone. Tell them about the pie you're making. Then go into the field and cut a few stalks of sugar cane. Better fly home. You don't want the ingredients to spoil. Remember, there's that vocabulary word spoil. Remember, spoil means to go, to go bad or to rot. Very good. Wait a minute. Aren't you forgetting something? What about the apples? Have the pilot drop you off in Vermont. And Vermont is back in the United States. So we're going to be traveling to Vermont in the United States. You won't have to go far to find an apple orchard. Pick eight rosy apples from the top of the tree. Give one to the chicken, one to the cow, and eat one yourself. That leaves five for the pie, and then hurry home. We went a little too far. Now all you have to do is mill the wheat into flour, grind the kurundu bark into cinnamon, evaporate the seawater from the salt, boil the sugar cane, persuade the chicken to lay an egg, milk the cow, turn the milk into butter, slice the apples, mix the ingredients, and bake the pie. That was a lot of work. While the pie is cooling, invite some friends over to share it with you. Remember that apple pie is delicious topped with vanilla ice cream, which you can get at the market. But if the market is closed, oh, what do you think is going to happen if the market's closed? You can eat it plain. So she was not going to go through all that trouble again for the ice cream. So what I want you to do now is you're going to go into Seesaw and you're going to think about some of those places that we went. Now, it's okay if you don't remember the name. You can go back through the book and watch it again if you want to to know the exact name. But you can just talk about how the settings change. You can talk about the, what you saw in the jungle and then what you saw in the countryside and how it was different or what you saw in France when we were in the cities or on the ocean. So I want you to talk about how the setting changed throughout the book.